brought to you by Riverside. If you wanna record videos faster than you are right now, and you wanna record them using your laptop, then keep on watching. I'm giving you a full tutorial start to finish. This is my number one secret for you to make videos faster and easier. I use this technique on $50,000 shoots with clients and on $0 shoots filming my own content. And that number one secret, you probably guessed it, is to use a teleprompter. You can use a teleprompter with a camera or with your phone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your computer into a teleprompter. I've gotten so many questions about this and I've never had a solution until now. I literally almost screamed with joy when I discovered that you can turn your computer into a prompter using Riverside to record videos. Riverside is traditionally a podcasting tool, but I have used it to record YouTube videos, sales page videos, video sales letters, and more. And the secret weapon is their built-in prompter. So I'm going to show you how to use Riverside and its teleprompter app that makes video creation fast and easy. Fast and easy content creation is always my MO here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and you're going to get a really professional looking video if you use this method as well. Now, real quick disclaimer here, because a lot of people are very against using a prompter. Like there's something in us that is like, Bleh. Recording with a prompter isn't something you have to do when you are recording your videos, but it can really save you time if you have like really specific information you have to cover, or if you're a beginner at making videos, or maybe you tend to ramble, or maybe you want your editing to go faster, or maybe you have a ton of content to record at once. Those are all really great reasons to use a prompter. And you might even find you don't need to use one forever. Maybe it's just a tool to help you get started. I personally like using it because it cuts my editing time in more than half, and I don't have to memorize a script before getting on camera. Efficient time saver. Let's take this step by step, shall we? The first step is going to be to write your script. I script things out word for word when I'm using a teleprompter and I make sure to put it in my own voice. When you're done writing it, pro tip is to read your script aloud and make sure it doesn't sound like what you would write in an email. You want your scripts to sound conversational, like you're talking to your best friend. Skip lines in between sentences. This makes it easier to read. It's not one just big jumbled mess. Next, you're gonna open up Riverside. If you don't have it yet, I have a great deal for you linked in the description below when you use my link to sign up. You're gonna open a new studio project. Make sure your camera and microphone settings are correct. For example, I'm using the Rode podcast mic here. Select whether or not you are using headphones and then click join studio. You're gonna click script at the bottom of the window and then you copy and paste your script that you've already written in there and hit the teleprompter button. It's going to default right into the middle of that screen. I want you to click this little arrow here and make the prompter a separate window so that you can position it right below the camera. This will make it look like you are looking at the camera and not reading from a script. So before you begin, you wanna adjust your font size and the scroll speed to whatever your preference is. I usually have to slow mine down a bit here, but I also make sure that I'm talking quickly enough to where it doesn't feel like it's dragging. Once you've gotten your settings optimized, wipe off your laptop camera and hit record on the Riverside window. You're now recording. Go back to the teleprompter window and start the scroll by hitting the play button. Read your script as it scrolls, and if you mess up, don't stress it, just pause for a moment, scroll back to right before you messed up, smile, very important, and start again. Don't hit stop and then record again. Just do it all in the same take, otherwise you'll have a bunch of video files. Once your whole script is recorded, hit the record button in the Riverside window again, and it will work on uploading the video. Click view recordings when it's ready. From here, we're going to edit it super quickly. Click edit, it'll open up a new interface where you can actually edit your video right there in the app. First, I go to the AI producer and I click set pace and I eliminate all pauses. Then I click apply. Then I will use that transcription to the left to help me edit. All you do is you highlight the parts that you wanna delete and you hit the delete button on your keyboard. And for some reason, if the transcription on the left is like missing a couple words or something, you can also edit using the timeline below like a traditional video editor. With this interface, you can also add B-roll or photos. You can add in music, you can add captions. There are so many awesome things you can do with this platform. It's really powerful and it's all in one. I actually go into more depth on the Riverside features in this video here, but Friend, in all honesty, I truly do love using Riverside to record video content. I record most of my YouTube videos on my DSLR cameras. However, the other day I recorded a sales page video using this method in 20 minutes. That includes writing my script. That includes recording the video and editing the video. And because I'm a busy entrepreneur with a family and a personal life, I love discovering hacks that make things faster. It's the best. And I'm obsessed with sharing them with you too. So pay it forward, share this video with a friend who wants to start recording videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe and get Riverside using my link below. Happy brand building, my friend. I will catch you in the next video.